Good morning. It's another beautiful sunny day here in eastern North Carolina. Today the temperature is going to get to about 70, which is nice, and I think it's supposed to be about 70 all week. The nighttime lows are only getting down to, I think, the about 50 degree mark, which is pretty nice. Uh, today I'm here in a corner of my garden. Uh, this is actually the corner of the orchard for those of you who have been following along. If you're curious as to where the orchard is, right now there's no trees in the orchard other than this pine, but if you're curious, go to my website, growinggreenfinger.com and check out the link, of the gardening link. I'm not sure where it is on the page, and if you have trouble finding it, let me know in the comments below, or there's a contact on the website itself. Again, let me know, and I will try to improve that. But there's a map under the gardening section, or garden section, that uh, lays out the overall uh, layout of the property. So here I am today at the far end of my property, corner of my orchard, and I've been kind of working on this for a while now. And what I've been doing is trimming back a lot of the undergrowth that was around here. All this was undergrowth. And I've been trimming it back, working on it. I have everything I need, everything that I wanted to trim back, I've trimmed back. The pine tree is going to stay. Some of the um, logs that you see over there, they're all going to stay. Because I'm uh, going to be 50 next year. <laughs> and 60's right around the corner and so is 70. I'm trying to build this garden out with the idea of me being able to take care of it hopefully well into my 60's if not further out. So one of those things, so one of those, um, what, what, what that means, as I'm trying to spit my words out, is trying to create spaces that are not high maintenance. So this area right here will be pretty much all natural. I trimmed the branches and stuff back. The wax myrtle that's back there, I will let grow in. I will trim occasionally so it keeps looking fairly nice and not too scraggly. The ground itself, uh, once I tame that up a bit, uh, there's some still some things growing up that need to be trimmed back. That I'm going to probably cover wood chips. Back over by the tree there, I'm going to have a bench. Um, this way I can sit here in the orchard and enjoy the shade when it's shady and just listen to the birds. That'd be something nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see over here. So down over here, there's uh, some pine needles and branches and whatnot that they need to be picked up, thrown out. And yeah, so that's basically the goal today. I'm gonna do a lot of cleanup. I'm also gonna show you one other thing and I'm gonna be planting some bulbs. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get doing this. We'll put some fun music up, knock this out, and then we'll talk about What's next? we go we're cleaned up as much as we can it can be okay so I'm using a different microphone today I switched between two different types of microphones in case you didn't know or care so that's why the audio is better on some videos and crappy on others I cleared out all the pine needles a lot of the vines the undergrowth it's not perfect it's not going to be perfect I'll probably come through here at some later time maybe with the mower 
And as the vines and whatnot start growing up, I'll whack them down. And they should stop, hopefully, after a short period of time. Especially if I run, run through here regularly on uh, with a mower. The what you can see right here, hopefully, <laughs> this bit of green and stumpage that's sticking up. That, believe it or not, is a wax myrtle that's been chopped way back, and it's still growing, and it will continue to grow. Now I've got several small stumps all dotted throughout here, and they have little sprigs of branches on them. Well, I'm hoping by the end of next summer. It'll all fill in and basically this become one little hedge island. Behind it, over by the pine tree, there'll be a bench. I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but maybe if I get clever I can put a little graphic up there, but there'll be a bench back there. Again, the little island, there'll be a walkway around both sides of the little wax myrtle hedge island. Now, if I didn't do anything, that little hedge island, all this wax myrtle sticking up here, right here, would just grow and overfill the whole area. It grows like a weed, it's incredible. But I will be trimming it regularly. I won't keep it formal. There will be no, uh, I won't you know, make a nice oval shape or square shape. I'll leave it a little loose, but I'm gonna keep it contained into the area. The bench again will be behind it, over by the uh, pine tree there. And the rest of the area will just be flat. And now for the final surprise. Huh, a little cut off here, but that's okay. So right here, behind this stump of wax myrtle that is starting to sprout up, and all along here, I'm gonna be planting Spanish bluebells. In case you don't know what Spanish bluebells is, I'll throw a picture up on the screen. And basically I'm just gonna, I've already dug holes, and I'm just gonna drop them into the ground. And theoretically, these guys should naturalize back here, I hope. Now, I did pre-chill these. I don't know if that was a smart idea or not. I'm not that familiar with Spanish bluebells, so I may have just destroyed them. But <laughs> or they'll grow in the spring. So we will see. Like I said, I'll drop one in each hole. I have 25 of them. Even if a few survive, theoretically, they should start naturalizing in a year or so, and more and more would sprout up. That's gonna about do it for today. I did a clean up here. I explained what's going on here. This is basically the final sort of cleanup in this corner. Everything from here on out will just be filling out the space. The wax myrtle will be growing. I'll show you that all throughout the year. The bench, I'll get a bench uh, hopefully in 2022. And that will go basically right behind me over here. And this space will just start naturalizing and, and filling out the way I kind of want it to do. It, it's, to me, it's about a balance between what I want and what nature wants to do. So if I can keep that balance, I think I'll have a beautiful garden. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. And uh, I don't know if there'll be a video on Wednesday, to be fair, because something huge is coming on Friday. Year-end wrap-up, year-end review, year-end spectacular, call it what you will. It's coming on Friday. Be here. Tell all your friends, families, neighbors, loved ones. Follow me on social media. Check out all the links below. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.